Massive news just dropped in the NFL draft landscape in an unexpected timing. First of all, I got to say, thanks guys for waiting until the end of the day on Friday when we're all looking ahead to the weekend to drop the biggest trade for the 2023 NFL draft. If you're living under a rock, the trade I am referring to is for the Carolina Panthers to move all the way up to the number one spot in order to select what should be the future quarterback of their franchise. Now, the details of this deal are as follows. The number nine overall selection goes to the Chicago Bears. They also get the number 61 overall selection. They also get a first round pick in 2024, a second round pick in 2025, and wide receiver DJ Moore, who was a first round pick a few years ago. Couple of thoughts and takeaways from this off the top of my head. This trade is a bit lopsided for the haul that Chicago ended up pulling. It's the price that you have to pay to move up to this spot. One of the things that I've said on this channel, on every radio spot that I've done, on every podcast that we've done, it is going to require a major haul to get into that spot more than ever because of the amount of quarterback desperate teams that need to get up and get a player. Last year, the quarterback class was terrible. A lot of teams decided to wait. And a team like Carolina, who was sitting outside the top five, needed to find their way to get into the top four to move and maneuver around the Houston Texans and the Indianapolis Colts that are the other uh, quarterback-hungry teams picking in the top five. They decided to bypass all that. They moved all the way up to number one. For just looking at this from a pure asset standpoint, the Chicago Bears pulled away with everything that they needed. They needed to get as many pieces as possible to help Justin Fields succeed. Resetting the clock at quarterback was only going to set this roster, this team, up for failure. Instead, you're getting a very talented young receiver in DJ Moore, who, frankly, at times was misused and not used enough and has a lot of potential to be a consistent 1,000-yard receiver. Those extra first-round picks need to go to building the offensive line, to adding uh, defensive playmakers. There are so many options for Ryan Poles and the Chicago Bears organization to build a very dominant and talented team for the future. Now for the Chicago Bears, or sorry, for the Carolina Panthers, rather. Where does this put the Carolina Panthers? They are now at the number one spot. Who are they going to take? I believe it is a race between two people. I do not think that Will Levis or Anthony Richardson are on the table. The two, it sounds like, are the most likely are either Bryce Young or C.J. Stroud. Now, Bryce Young did not test the NFL Combine. Many believe he is the number one quarterback in the class, and I'm one of those people that believe he should be the number one quarterback in the class. Possibly, though, if the, if the Carolina Panthers have a different style approach and they want somebody with a bigger frame, C.J. Stroud is equally as talented. Either of those guys are ready to step in and play right away, which is going to mean and make the most sense for this Carolina Panthers team that can't sit around and wait any longer. They've had too many stopgap guys that they've tried to fill in since Cam Newton left as the quarterback for the Panthers. So Bryce Young or C.J. Stroud, and frankly, I believe it's probably going to be C.J. Stroud as the likely player that they end up selecting in this spot just based on their history of drafting at the position, what they value, what this roster is going to value, and then also not having the time to wait for the development of a guy like Will Levis or Anthony Richardson. Comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Who do you think this pick is going to be? Who do you think won this trade? Let me know in the comments below. Before we continue on with this video, I just want to tell you folks about an exciting new partnership that we have with this channel with Underdog Fantasy. Ever since I joined, I've been having so much fun. There are so many different exciting games that make watching games during the offseason more exciting. I'm not the biggest basketball fan, but it has made it way more entertaining since I found Underdog Fantasy. And my favorite game to play so far, which I think you should try out, is Pick'em. It is so easy to play. Just pick higher or lower on your favorite player stats, and you can win up to 20 times your money in a single night. Underdog keeps it simple with their easy-to-use website and mobile apps. Pick between two and five players to fill out your Pick'em slip Get every pick right and take home some cold, hard cash. Use code HACK, H-A-C-K, HACK, like the name of this channel. Use code HACK to get your first deposit doubled up to $100 by Underdog. Go sign up. You won't regret it. You're going to have a blast. Check out Underdog Fantasy. I also want to tell you folks about our other 
reoccurring sponsor that we have on this channel, that being Bet Online, betonline.ag, which has all the updated odds, news, and anything for sports betting. It's my go-to source for when I want to be betting specifically on games. I love betting on college basketball or the NBA, uh, especially again during the offseason. Always looking for more fun ways to be uh, focused in on some of these other sports. It's betonline.ag and use promo code BELIEVE50. It's promo code BELIEVE50 to get 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts. 